It's time now for the STOHD.com Diamond in the Rough. And it's Lake County Captain's catcher, Roberto Perez. STOHD.com's Tony Lastoria says Perez was one of the Indians' most improved players in 2009 and is now arguably the best catching prospect in the Indians' minor league system after Carlos Santana. A lot of raw ability as a receiver and a hitter. Some upside with his bat, but has really come into his own as a defender and handling a pitching staff. Good, strong, accurate arm. Calls a good game. Someone to really watch and see now how he progresses over the next few years. When you look at Roberto Perez, and the nice thing about it, he's a good-sized catcher. Great responsibility behind the plate. He's getting mixed time right now with the other catcher down there in chin. But what I like best about this guy is he's learning how to call a game with some very good pitching prospects at the same time. And that helps in the long run when you're moving up through the ranks. 33rd round pick from 2008. Read more about Indians prospects every week on Minor Happenings on STOHD.com and in Tony's book listing the top 100 tribe prospects. Welcome back to the show, and it's time now to go back to the future, kind of for Joel Skinner, who was a manager of the Akron Arrows some 10 years ago. Well, now he's back at Canal Park for a second tour of duty. Katie Witham sat down with the new skipper this season for Akron. Thanks, guys. We're here with this week's minor league insider, Joel Skinner, the Arrows manager here with me today. And Joel, a minor league player, major league player, minor league manager, major league coach. I mean, you've done it all. Second time here in Akron. Why come back? Because I enjoy baseball, number one, and uh, it's something that uh, it's in my blood. It's what I do, and uh, I'm here with a good group of young players. It uh, uh, makes it fun to come to the ballpark every day. I, uh, I've made my home here in Northeast Ohio, so that's convenient. But uh, again, it's baseball. It's what I like to do. We have a good group here. It's, uh, it's a great level. Uh, these guys have gotten themselves out of the not the rat race, but the, the lower levels of A ball, and now they're uh, starting to make a name for themselves in double A and on their way to triple A. So it's something that uh, is very enjoyable. So it was pretty much 12 seasons ago that you were back here. So when it's when you step out of the dugout here at Canal Park, does it feel like deja vu still sometimes? Well, I have a new car, so that helps. <laughs> well, the Akron Arrows are the defending Eastern League champions. Now, you have a good mix of returners here from last season, as well as some new guys. How has the team chemistry been going so far? Well, you know, in talking with them, and, and it's one thing I talked about the other day, we're not defending anything. You're going out to achieve something new. Uh, uh, as a result in sports, last year's over with, and uh, these, this is a new club. It's, it's a group of guys that are uh, they're achieving and, and they're, they're, they're striving towards the, the, the right things. And uh, again, they're, they're going out to try to, to uh, uh, help themselves get better, move on, and as a result, also help the ball club. Well, one of the players that you have that I know a lot of people are hoping will achieve great things this season is Lonnie Chisholm. Talk about him. What do you like about him as a player? Well, he's a, he's, he's he's young. He's uh, he's energetic. He, uh, he hits from the left side. Obviously, he has a he has a real pretty swing. He gives himself a chance, uh, balance wise, and uh, uh, he's gotten off to a, a good start. Uh, uh, he's a he's he's athletic. He does all the things you need to do defensively. Sure, he's a young player, but he's a guy that. Uh, definitely has a pure baseball swing and it's enjoyable watching him hit. Well, another player that I know a lot of people are talking about is Scott Barnes. You, Indians picked him up in the Garco trade last year. He's on the mound. What do you like about him when he steps out? Well, it's something that he's one of those guys. He's a left-hander. He, he, he gets the ball. He, he, he's, he has a nice pace to him. It, uh, there's not a lot of time in between pitches. Uh, he's only pitched a couple times so far as we speak, but uh, uh, he gets the ball. He, he throws it over. Uh, he's made some adjustments from his first to his second outing, uh, and, and as a result, had some success. Uh, it's good to see he's, he's got a, a, a two or three pitch mix, and uh, it's something that uh, obviously over the course of the year we're, we're looking forward to good things. Would you want to hit against him? Uh, I, I, you know, <laughs> if you go, go look, look at my trading cards, uh, I enjoyed hitting. I it just sometimes the success rate wasn't what I wanted it to be, but I, I always enjoyed trying. Now another player that you guys picked up last year is Connor Graham. What what are his main things that you know you're always going to get out of him? Well, Connor's a big guy. You know, he's a big right-hander. When he gets the ball down in the in the strike zone, he, he puts the ball on the ground. Uh, it's something that he's in the process right now of, of repeating his delivery and giving himself a chance uh, from a standpoint of staying ahead in the count and, and putting hitters away. Uh, that's a process that they, uh, a lot of guys at this level are always continuing to try and improve on, and, and that's where he is right now. Now, I know a lot of minor league managers will say it's, it's more about developing the players than it is winning, but coach, 
be honest with me. We have the defending Eastern League champs here, so it feels good to win sometimes. It well, is about you, that a little bit, right? It, it, you, you, what happens is you go out and you do the things the right way, and, and you once the game starts, you gear yourself, gear yourself towards winning a ball game. And to win a ball game, you have to do the fundamental things properly. And and so we instill in our players to go out there and do the things that are, are conducive to winning ball games and, and, and things of that nature. But from a from a player development standpoint, uh, uh, you know, there's times where we're not going to maybe pinch hit for a player or or make that pitching change because it is about mm -hmm. development. It's about these guys going out and learning how to succeed and do things. And uh, from that standpoint, no, it's it, it's all about getting these guys to the next level. And to do that, sometimes you have to uh, go that route also. Well, Joel, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Well, thank you. For Minor League Insider, I'm Katie Witham. Well, Katie, thanks very much for that interview. And you look at Joel Skinner. I mean, he's been in the organization now for 22 seasons. Great guy on the field, off the field, very knowledgeable when it comes to baseball. I mean, he's been in the big leagues for a while now. Now he's coming back down, and you see what his passion is about the game of baseball. Yeah, I agree 100% what you said, Jason. Great guy, knows so much about the sport. Could only help those kids down at AA. He has so much experience and a great person to keep in your system because he really does know the game, I think, as good as anybody. I will right, we'll take a break. When we come back, more to give you here with Indians Minor yeah, League Magazine. Jason Smith comes from the land down under. Now he's working his way to Cleveland. Hear from him next. Arm, yeah, beautiful. 26, 30, 60, 60, 60. 